Hi everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less, and today I am so excited to be bringing to you a DIY Christmas photo backdrop. This will be perfect for your family Christmas photos. We will begin by putting together this photo backdrop stand and I will leave that link down in the description box below because I've already done a video showing you guys exactly how to put this together. Now this stand will extend from 6 to 10 feet and so I'm going to put the additional extenders in because I do have enough panels to create this backdrop so I'm going to extend it a little bit so that you can get the maximum amount of people in your photos. Next I'm going to be adding these panels. These um, oh my gosh these ruffle panels are amazing. They are from LushDecor.com. I will leave that link down below. They come in a package of it's one panel per package so you will need at least two to four panels depending on how wide you want your photo backdrop but these are so amazing and once you use them for your Christmas family photos you can and definitely you know they can serve a double duty because you can also use them in your home decor and I'll show you guys how I'm going to use them after this photo backdrop in another video you guys are going to love it I so love these ruffles they are so classic so elegant so chic so girly absolutely amazing pieces once your curtains are in place, you will need to adjust your photo backdrop stand to the desired height. They're 84 inches and so I want them to basically brush the floor. Once the panels are in place, you will need to add an accent chair. Now this can be an, a captain's chair from your dining room table, um, a chair from your sitting room and an accent table from anywhere in your home. For this particular DIY project, I'm using a patio table. So the base really doesn't matter because we're going to cover it and it will look fabulous when we get finished. I promise you. So for the chair, you can add um, maybe a throw or a festive Christmas pillow. For the table, I just took some scrap bling fabric or sequin fabric and I added it there and then I'm going to add a four foot Christmas tree it's actually a pre-lit gold Christmas tree that I picked up while bargain shopping after Christmas last year but I thought it would look perfect on the tabletop I was having some trouble with it laying flat and I figured out that there was a stake attached to the bottom. And so this stake is um, actually you know, can be used to drive the tree down into the ground if I wanted to use it outdoors or if I wanted to put it in a planter. So I thought that was a great idea. But for today's DIY project, we're going to use it on the tabletop. Now the next step is my favorite step of all. And that is fluffing the Christmas tree. I know, call me weird, but I actually enjoy fluffing the tree. For me, it's much easier when I fluff the tree in layers. So when I'm fluffing a tree, I think about like a starfish. And so when I pull down one limb, one will go to up, one goes to the right, one goes to the left, one goes down, and one goes straight out. Now that just creates for me a super full Christmas tree and it gives me that look that I absolutely love and it doesn't leave a lot of holes when you're getting ready to add your ornament so it really saves you money it takes a little bit more time but it saves you money because it gives your tree an overall fuller look Although this tree is much, much smaller, it is actually the exact same technique that I used to fluff our nine and a half foot Christmas tree at home. Now that the tree is all fluffed, I'm going to add this marquee joy sign. I felt like it really brought everything together. I love the fact that it was trimmed in gold and that it had the light so it kind of mimicked the chair and then it bounced off the white backdrop panels and the gold tree so I thought it was the perfect accent piece to go there. You could also use miniature Christmas presents. And if you really want it to be extra, you could add a Christmas village or a train. How awesome is that? 
Speaking of adding wonderful things, I picked up these angel wings last year at Big Lots after Christmas for 90% off. I wanted to incorporate um, our family members that we recently lost in this family photo. So I'm going to add a wing for each family member that we lost back in 2014 because it's still fresh and still new for us and it's just my way of incorporating them and making them a part of the memories that we'll create this year. Along with the angel wings, I'm going to go back and add in some bling balls and I think the bling on the white Christmas ornaments will kind of bring in the bling on the back of the chair that you see here. I also picked these up for, at Big Lots for 90% off and they were $3. I absolutely love the way that this is coming together. And I can't believe that I almost forgot to tell you this. Right now, these ruffle curtain panels are on sale at LushDecor.com for $36. The original price, the retail price, was $129.99. So this is an absolutely amazing deal. I'll be sure to leave that link down below. So here is how the setup turned out. It's going to make such a beautiful Christmas picture. I absolutely love the ornaments, but I'm not sure if they will be distracting in the picture. So you guys let me know in the comments below, which setup do you like best? The setup with the ornaments on the tree or the setup without the ornaments on the tree? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you. I hope that you create beautiful family family mem memories over the holiday season and if you aren't a part of the Lux for Less family I'd love to have you to be a part by clicking the subscribe button and until next time it's Melanie with living luxuriously for less cheers